Hi folks, this is Rob, WX90 with Mobile Linked, and in this video we're going to go over uh, how to set up an eye diagram on an oscilloscope uh, using a function or a signal generator. So right now what we have uh, as a setup is I have a baseband signal coming into a TNC, which is sitting here on the bench, and we're capturing audio from uh, that's being fed into it and displaying that on the oscilloscope. And right now it's just uh, showing noise. So I'm going to off screen here, start sending a modulated baseband signal. And what we want to do is we want to see, you know, what is the quality of the signal. And one way to do that is through displaying an eye diagram. So how, how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to be able to do is to somehow synchronize the capturing of this waveform um, with the oscilloscope, right? So um, we want, so this is a 48, um, 100 hertz uh, baseband signal or uh, so what we want to be able to do is to capture um, is to, to trigger this the oscilloscope at that frequency at, at about uh, well at 4800 or 2400 some multiple thereof so that it ever our um, capture rate is aligned with the symbol rate um, and so what I have here on the side here is a signal generator and we're going to set it up for uh, 2400 hertz and we have it uh, coming into channel 2 here channel 1 is our signal and I'm now going to output a signal on channel 2 and we're going to capture we're going to turn on channel 2 here um, and let's adjust our uh, trigger level and we're triggering here um, and Wow, we can actually see our uh, eye diagram. So what typically happens is when you when you trigger start triggering on this, the timing isn't exactly right, and you'll see your eye kind of form and start walking across the screen like this. And this is and you need a function generator like this that has fairly decent um, resolution so that you can adjust the 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 speed or the sorry the um, output frequency, you know, within a few millihertz. And so we're going to go down to, whoops, this way. This is very close. That's too much. Um, and one of the things you'll notice is that as I'm adjusting the frequency, the eye kind of bounces around on the screen. That's because the the modulated signal and the, the signal from the signal generator aren't synchronized in any way and so we need to adjust our timing uh, here to center our eye. The other thing is we're showing too many on the screen. We want to widen this up so we can get more detail um, and then we're just going to adjust our there we go that's the direction we want to go um, adjust our eye oh and then we can move our signal down. Now one of the things I usually do when I'm doing this and not just demonstrating it on the oscilloscope is I run, instead of running it into channel 2, there's a trigger input on the back of the oscilloscope and um, that's what I use to trigger. Now one of the things you'll notice is that slowly but surely this eye diagram, this eye is wandering across the screen and we can you know tune that in just a little bit to, um, I think it actually needs to go in this direction a bit, where it will actually stay there and stay, you know, stable for long periods of time. Um, now, the next thing we can do is we can turn on persistence. And one second persistence gives you a little bit of detail on the screen that you that you don't really get if you don't have persistence turned on. You can get more information about, like, how well the eye is doing. And we can see in this um, with persistence turned on, that the lower eye is closing a little bit more than the other two. Um, so that may be something we want to look at. Um, again, this is still drifting across the screen a little bit, so we may need to tune our our um, our signal just a little bit more. Honestly, I think I have this tuned too far because we're really close. The This thing has a um, temperature controlled crystal oscillator on there, so it should be um, very close to 2400 hertz. The transmitter does, I should say. This is really dependent more on the transmitter than on the receiver um, because you're trying to match the transmitter's frequency or um, symbol rate in this case. Um, 
But really that's all there is to it. It's just a matter of setting up a, a signal generator to match the baseband uh, signal that you're trying to capture and then triggering on that uh, and then displaying that on the oscilloscope, um, adjusting the, the frequency you know, fairly finely to get it to display um, and then centering it on the scope. Um, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was uh, uh, educational. If you have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, and until next time, bye.